Hello everyone, my name is Wendy. Today we will go over why the eraser tool is not working in GIMP and how to fix it. I'll be using Windows and GIMP 2.10.28. Before we move on, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, then please subscribe, like and hit the bell button so you don't miss any upcoming videos from this channel. Thank you. So let's get started. First let's grab the eraser tool. Come over to the toolbox and click on the small eraser shaped icon or press the shortcut key Shift E. You can use the eraser tool to remove areas of an active layer or a selected portion of a layer. Let's have a quick look. To create this thumbnail, I made two duplicates of the original image. Then I traced around the model with a pass tool, copied and pasted the selection into a layer mask. Then I used the eraser tool to remove this portion of the background. I'll leave a link for this tutorial in the description below. The grey checkerboard pattern isn't part of the image design. GIMP uses it to represent the transparent areas of a layer. It's there to indicate that you can see through that area and there is nothing beneath it. Moving forward, I'll open the original JPEG image and I'll place a link to this image in the description below also. Now let's see what happens when I grab the eraser tool and try to erase a small part of the image. In the eraser settings, I'll just grab a hard brush and increase the size for now. A very popular question, why is the eraser painting white instead of erasing? Yes, that's right, the eraser is painting with the current background color. I'll hit Ctrl Z to undo this. So why won't GIMP erase to transparency? First of all, the JPEG files don't support transparency, like a PNG file. This means before you can erase any portion of the image, you need to add an alpha channel to the layer. Alpha simply means transparency. An alpha channel can make parts of a layer to appear partially or fully transparent. GIMP automatically adds an alpha channel when you add another layer to the stack. However, to work on this image just as it is, we need to add the alpha channel first. But before we do this, come over to the Channels tab. Here you will see the image is decomposed in three primary colors. An extensive range of natural colors are created by mixing the RGB values. An alpha channel or a transparent layer needs to be added to the channel and it will be placed below these three channels. I'll switch back to the Layers tab. So now just right click on the layer and from the menu select Add Alpha Channel to this layer. And an alpha channel is added to the layer. Let's right click and go back and have a look at the menu. When the title is greyed out, this indicates that the layer has an alpha channel now, so we can carry on. Now we can erase the pixels to transparency. However, if the problem still exists, it could be one of the following examples. I'll open a different composition this time. This one has multiple layers. First I'll check that an alpha channel has been added. It's greyed out, so it's all good. Let's carry on. Now this is a very common error, which we all do from time to time, and that is attempting to erase something before activating the correct layer. With the eraser tool activated, I'll try to erase this area here. As you see, nothing is erasing. But come over to the layer stack and look at the small thumbnail. I have accidentally erased a different layer instead. In this composition, it was easy to see. However, depending on how complex your composition is, it might go unnoticed. I'll press Ctrl Z a few times to undo this. Now let's look at a selection. I'll grab the rectangle tool and drag out a shape. I'll attempt to erase outside the selected area. As you can see, it is impossible. When there's an activated selection, only the pixels inside that area can be manipulated. So you need to deactivate the selection first. Right click and from the select menu, choose none. Or press Shift Ctrl A to deselect everything. Let's explore a few more options. So before we move away from the layers panel, let's check the locks. When a lock is enabled, you can protect specific layers or parts of layers so you don't accidentally modify them. Let's have a quick look at how these locks work. I'll press the small paintbrush icon. This button will toggle on and off the lock pixels function. Now, if you attempt to erase the pixels on this layer, the cursor icon changes. Also, if you check the status bar below, you'll see an error message advising that the active layer's pixels are locked. I'll re-click the button to unlock this. If I press the middle button, 
This will prevent the active layer from moving. And if I press the checkerboard button, well, this one protects the transparent areas of the active layer. You can still edit other parts of that layer. For instance, if I grab the paintbrush tool, I can still paint on the layer, except over the transparent pixels, they're protected. Then I'll press Ctrl Z to undo this. Now switch back to the eraser tool. I'll click the button to unlock it. The final options are over on the eraser tool settings. Come over to the tool settings. Right at the top is the opacity. By moving the slider, you can adjust the strength of the tool. The higher the opacity you use, the more transparency you get. Make sure it's set to 100%. Next, check the hardness option. Make sure that's set to 100. Also make sure the anti-erase mode is not enabled. Let's look at the anti-erase mode. You can toggle the anti-erase mode on and off by pressing the Alt key while erasing. You can unerase areas of the image. So let's see what happens when I move the eraser tool over this part of the image. This mode only works with layers with an alpha channel and only in areas that were previously erased. Even if a portion of the image is completely transparent, the RGB data is still there. The anti-erase mode adjusts the alpha value so you can see the RGB data once more. However, if there was no previous color, then GIMP will replace it with black. Now the final option would be to reset the eraser tool settings to GIMP's default settings. To do this, click on all the small reset buttons beside each of the items in the tools options. And finally, if you want, you can click on the Reset to Default Values icon below and restart GIMP. The final step would be to preserve these transparent pixels in the image. So to do this, you need to export the image out as a PNG file or the transparent pixels will be replaced again with your background color. We'll wrap up here. Today we looked at why the eraser tool was not working in GIMP and we explored different options on how to fix it. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy.